Hello, Trojan Nation. My name is Jeff Dittman, the Athletic Director at Dakota State University. Welcome to our 2023 Dakota State University Annual Athletic Awards. We're proud to bring you a virtual awards presentation celebrating our amazing athletic season in 2022 and 23. This year we have two male recipients, both from the track and field program. Our first recipient is Connor Tortson. Connor decided to come to Dakota State University for the 2022-23 season and use his COVID athletic eligibility year. What an amazing track and field season he had. He collected two North Star Athletic Association indoor track and field all-conference honors by winning the weight throw with a conference meet record of 18.87 meters or 61 feet 11 inches and earning a runner-up finish in the shot put with a toss of 15.76 meters or 51 feet 8.5 inches. These performances fueled the Trojans to their fourth North Star Men's Indoor Track and Field Conference Championship in the last five years. Connor returned to the NAI Indoor Track and Field National Championship meet in Brookings and became the first DSU men's weight thrower to be named NAIA All-American after placing sixth overall with a throw of 18.26 meters or 59 feet 11 inches. His athletic accomplishments kept piling up during the outdoor track and field season. He set numerous records in both the hammer throw and discus throw. And for the first time in school history, Connor was honored by the NEIA as the National Field Athlete of the Week on back-to-back -back weeks. He captured three throwing titles at the North Star Athletic Association Outdoor Track and Field Championships, propelling the Trojans to their fourth consecutive men's conference title. He was named the Conference Field Athlete of the Meet for the second straight year. Connor earned this award by scoring a total of 35 points in the meet by winning the hammer throw, discus, and shot put. He also finished fourth in the javelin throw. And for the third straight year, with a toss that set the conference meet record at 60 feet, I'm sorry, 60.11 meters or 197 feet, uh, he won the hammer throw. This was his third consecutive hammer title and the second straight year winning the discus. The North Star head coaches also voted Con Connor as the league's outdoor men's track and field most valuable athlete for the second straight year. His season wrapped up at the NEIA Men's Outdoor Track and Field National Championships in Marion, Indiana. He kicked off the meet with a second straight All-American finish in the outdoor hammer throw, finishing fourth with a throw of 59.95 meters or 196 feet 8 inches. It was history in the making on the second day of the national meet when Connor became the first Trojan Men's Outdoor Track and Field athlete and first discus thrower to win a national title. Connor is the third DSU athlete to ever be an individual national champion in track and field. His toss of 54.14 meters or 177 feet 7 inches on his very first discus throw attempt proved to be the winning throw. Connor also competed in the shot put at the national meet. He finished his seller career with four NEIA All-American accolades, 15 overall NSAA All-Conference honors in both football and track and field, and NEIA and NSAA Scholar Athlete recognition for his academic success. Connor holds the top three all-time school records in DSU men's indoor track and field in the weight throw, including the 19.36 meter toss of 63 feet, 6.25 inches this past winter. He is second all-time record holder for indoor track and in, I'm sorry, he's second all-time in the indoor track shot put with 15.76 meters or a 51 foot eight and a half inch toss. In the most recent outdoor track and field season, he established school records in the hammer throw with 62.36 meters or 204 feet seven inches and discus with a throw of 54.47 meters or 178 feet eight inches. In addition, he was 0 0.03 meters shy of tying the DSU outdoor shot put toss record by recording a toss of 16.32 meters or 53 feet, 6.5 inches. Congratulations to Connor. It was a great season, it was a great year, and you had an outstanding career at DSU. 
Hello, my name is Anthony Dreeland. I'm the head cross country and track coach here at Dakota State University. And we are so excited and honored to introduce Connor Tordson as one of our most outstanding athletes this year at Dakota State University. Connor Tordson is the epitome of what we uh, love to see on our DSU track and field team. He is one of those athletes that has turned himself into a phenomenal athlete through his work ethic, through his time here, and through his coaching uh, that uh, he received uh, with Coach Glover. Uh, Connor came to us from Fairmont, Minnesota, uh, and uh, decided to play football and uh, throw here at DSU, and came in as a really solid athlete, an athlete we were very excited about, but he has single-handedly turned himself into uh, the, if not the greatest uh, throws, co uh, throws athlete of all time at uh, DSU. Uh, he has worked extremely hard. He has studied his sport and he's been a great leader um, uh, for our track and field team. And uh, it has been a real pleasure and honor to have him on the team uh, this uh, past year. At the national championships, he was able to win the discus and he did that on his very first throw of the competition. We have had several athletes that have had the capability to win a national championships and have had that opportunity to do so and they've been phenomenal athletes but it is another level to be able to accomplish that and that is why Connor is the third national champion in our Dakota State track and field program. He came out in that competition and set the tone right away throwing over 54 meters uh, and the rest of the field spent the whole competition trying to catch up to him and could not do so. It was just an amazing accomplishment, is the epitome of hard work after the last several years of training uh, here at uh, DSU. Uh, we've been exceptionally fortunate to have Connor as a member of our team. Uh, he's in his fifth year here at DSU graduating, uh, and at the end of 2022, he was finishing up his uh, um, undergrad degree and was really thinking, okay, I'm going to move on to the next phase of my life, which uh, is something that we absolutely respected uh, and uh, were excited him to do uh, but at the end of the day he decided you know what I want to give uh, one more season a try his last season of eligibility and he was able to come back uh, and earn several All-American honors including that national championship. Connor, it's been a real honor having you as a member of our team. Uh, you have, uh, you know, exemplified what we're all about with your work ethic, your leadership, and have just been a phenomenal person uh, to work with. And we are so grateful to have you as a member of our team. I'd like to now introduce Coach Alex Glover, Connor's Throws Coach, for some more insight into his accomplishments. Hey Trojan Nation, Coach Glover here, Throws and Multis Coach for the DSU Track and Field Team. It's my absolute honor to be able to introduce Connor Tordzen as this year's Dakota State's Co-Men's Outstanding Athlete of the Year. Connor's been a coach's dream. From the start, he was a very moldable athlete. He's always taken everything I've said to heart and has worked tirelessly to put himself in a position for people to say that he's the greatest thrower in Dakota State history and one of the greatest athletes. I was fortunate enough to recruit Connor here for both track and football. Connor had a stellar football career as well, ending his career as a multiple time all-conference performer. After an already decorated athletic and academic career, we're fortunate enough to get Connor to come back to use his final year of eligibility for track. As soon as he decided to come back, we laid out a plan and set out a handful of different goals. First one was that we were going to bring in a large freshman class of throwers, and I needed his leadership. Connor is somebody that leads by example, leaves no stone unturned. He works and works and works until he gets everything perfect. As a coach, I know that can go a really long way for athletes early on in their career to see how a successful upperclassman like him goes about their business and how they work. The next goal was to finally hit qualifying standard in shot put. It's something that has eluded Connor throughout his career. Uh, he wasn't the best shot putter in, uh, early in his career, coming out of high school as well. Uh, but towards the end of his fourth year, he really started improving. So we really thought that, that would be uh, a good shot to finally qualify in. Next was being an All-American in weight and hammer throw. He rewrote the DSU record books in both events, breaking the school record in both multiple times and winning the conference in both events each of the last three years. For a four meet stretch uh, in the outdoor season, Connor broke the hammer throw record each meet. It was amazing. He finished third at the Drake Relays and truly had one of the best series of throws of anybody at the event. For the thrower from little old Dakota State University to show up and be the only thrower in the competition over 60 meters every throw uh, was, was a pretty special feeling as a coach uh, and, it, and it was amazing to be a part of. I was really, really happy for him and all the work that he put in. It made it really feel like all these years of work were really worth it. 
for him to end both his indoor and outdoor seasons as an All-American in both of those events were incredible and something that no other DSU thrower has ever done. Uh, last goal was really simple. We talked about it since early on in his freshman year, and that was to win a national championship in the discus. Uh, he's worked too hard and for too many years not to. Knowing that this was our last ride, Connor really flipped a switch mentally and made the decision that he wasn't going to let anything get in his way of winning. All week at nationals, I had people ask me how I thought he would do, and the, and the only answer I gave anybody was that he was going to win. It wasn't being cocky because he only came into the meet with the fourth, fourth best mark. I just knew that he wasn't going to let me and he wasn't going to let himself down. After his final throw, being able to give that dude a big hug and celebrate winning a national championship is easily, easily the highlight of my coaching career. I can't tell you how proud I am of him. He's somebody that will forever be a part of my family, him and his family both. In just a few days, I get the privilege of being there to watch him marry his beautiful fiance, Skyler, another former DSU thrower. It's been a privilege to be this dude's coach. I can't believe it. It's, it's something that as a coach, I'm gonna remember for a lifetime. With all that being said, it's my absolute honor to, prevent, to present Connor Tordzen with the 2023 Dakota State Co-Men's Outstanding Athlete of the Year. Uh, it's absolutely amazing to be nominated for this award among so many amazing athletes here at Dakota State University. Uh, it's a great honor to get Dakota State's most outstanding male athlete of the year alongside Treshawn Roberts, a great friend, athlete, and competitor. Um, <clears throat> just a fantastic way to have him through the season along with so many other of my teammates. Uh, the season was uh, awesome. Going into the season, Glover and I had set super high goals for the both of us, uh, wanting to become a multiple time All-American this year and to win a national championship in discus. And Glover kind of said it from day one that that's what we were set out to do. So going into the year, uh, I put a lot of work into the weight room and into practice and having such dedicated teammates uh, to be there alongside me and put in the same amount of work and really challenge themselves and push me. Uh, it was super beneficial to me as an athlete. Uh, going through the year, it was super fun to be breaking quite a few school records, going on a stretch of a, uh, two, three weeks where it was just discus and hammer records back and forth. Uh, it was just an awesome season. And then finally to go into nationals, hitting a big A mark and shot, uh, probably one of the highlights of my career. It was super, um, super fun to have all my teammates around and celebrate, uh, something I didn't expect to do. I've never been a great shot putter, but that was kind of a highlight. And then being able to throw all three at nationals and you know, getting fourth in the hammer throw at nationals was the highest I had placed. And then moving into that, that day at discus, Glover kind of said it before the event started, spoke it into existence uh, and said that we were gonna set out uh, to accomplish our goal that day and win a national championship. And we did that uh, on the first throw, which Glover and I know is usually my best throw. We threw that 54. And as soon as I let go and I saw the 54 pop on the, up on the screen, I said, wow, this, this could be it. We might've just done it. Uh, and Glover and I did a little celebration, but then we were excited to, to keep pushing and wanted to build off that because we knew people would be coming. Uh, and then to finally see that last throw land and then run over, give Glover a big hug and just know that we had, we had done it. Uh, working for five years, him and I putting in so many hours together. It was amazing to accomplish such a great goal uh, and, and come out on top to go into retirement. Uh, uh, there's a lot of people that I couldn't have done this without, so I, I just want to say a couple thank yous. Uh, first and foremost, I mean, uh, thank God, uh, all glory to him. I mean, having such healthy and successful seasons these past five years have been amazing and a high point in my life thus far. Uh, next, I want to thank my fiance Skyler for coming to basically every meet, traveling hours and hours and taking pictures and being uh, such a great support system to have. Uh, my parents, brothers, and the rest of my family supporting me throughout my life and all my athletics uh, and just life in general. Uh, the Dakota State University track program uh, and the strength and conditioning program have helped me shape who I am today to become a better athlete and they just put a lot of time and effort into their athletes. Uh, which I am very appreciative of, and I can't wait to see what they continue to do with the program. I'd like to thank my teammates as well. Uh, I've made a lot of really great friends here at Dakota State University, and a lot of things I've done wouldn't have been the same without them. Having them push me, having them celebrate successes, uh, go through tough times, they've all been uh, a huge part of my life, and I couldn't be happier with the people that I've met and the teammates I've made and friends I've made. They're going to be lifelong for sure. Uh, you know, finally, I want to thank Coach Glover. He's put in countless hours to me you know i've been stealing time from his family for five years making him spend late nights out at the rings going through techniques he'll send me videos late at night uh, critiquing form and things like that and he set such high goals for me as a freshman i remember he had told one of my friends my freshman year 
that by the end of my career, I would win a disc discus national championship. You know, he kind of spoke it into existence from day one and just having him have that faith in me and put all that time and effort into me and it really paid off in the end. Uh, just an amazing guy to have in my life. Uh, has really shaped me as an athlete as well as the person I am today. So just really grateful for him and everyone else that I've mentioned before. What an honor it's been. Uh, and a final thank you to Dakota State University. Uh, amazing time I've had here, such successes academically and athletically, and I couldn't have done it at a different university. Dakota State University has always been a big part of my life and will continue to be a big part of my life. Uh, thank you to all my professors, the training staff, everyone involved. Uh, I'll always be a Trojan. Go Trojans. Our second recipient of the DSU Male Outstanding Athlete of the Year goes to Treshawn Roberts with the track and field program. This is the second consecutive season he has earned this award thanks to his impressive performances in both indoor and outdoor in the multi-event event, multi-event uh, contests. Treshawn was tabbed as the NSAA Men's Indoor Field Athlete of the Meet after racking up 32 points in the conference meet. He captured the conference's heptathlon title for the second straight year, his third title in the past four years with the conference meet record of 5,121 points. He also captured the conference's pole vault title, earning fourth place in the long jump, fifth place in the high jump, and sixth in the shot put. He was voted as the NSAA Men's Indoor Track and Field Most Valuable Athlete by the league's head coaches. After finishing second place in the heptathlon on the first day of the 2023 NEIA Indoor Track and Field National Championships, Treshawn claimed the national runner-up honor on day two after hitting a new school record of 5,174 points. It was the second straight year that Treshawn collected the NEIA All-American Heptathlon accolade, and it was his third NEIA All-American multi-event during his career at Dakota State. Treshawn established a new outdoor decathlon's record of 6,772 points during the South Dakota Early Bird Meet in Vermillion on April 7th and 8th. That point total was the second most in the NEI's decathlon during the 2023 outdoor season. He suffered an injury after the meet and was unable to compete at the NSAA Outdoor Conference Meet but returned to action at the 2023 NEIA Outdoor Track and Field National Championships. While dealing with this lingering injury, Treshawn rose up to seventh place in the decathlon standing before the final event. Unfortunately, he was unable to finish that event, which was the 1500 meter run, but he still collected 5,948 points. Treshawn continued to be an integral par a member of the Trojan track and field teams that won the NSAA Indoor Track and Field Conference title for the second straight year, as well as an historic four-peat in the NSAA Outdoor Track and Field Conference title. Congratulations to Treshawn for his outstanding career to date and for his many accomplishments in track and field. Hi, head cross country and track and field coach Anthony Dreelin here again. It is my honor to introduce Treshawn Roberts, our next most outstanding athlete of the year here at Dakota State University. Treshawn has been an absolute phenomenal athlete for our DSU track and field program and is honestly one of the greatest athletes of all time in DSU history with all of his accomplishments, all of his versatility, and everything that he has done for us at a conference and a national championship level. Treshawn, earning a runner-up award in the uh, indoor heptathlon this past year, Year was uh, one of the greatest accomplishments that we've seen um, uh, in our time coaching here at DSU. And that is a result of Treshawn's hard work, his uh, dedication, and really just the mentality to have what it takes to be successful in the uh, multi-events. The uh, multis, whether it's the heptathlon with seven events, the decathlon with 10 events, takes a extreme amount of time to train, to put in the work, and also to be ready on competition day to move from one event to the next, and Treshawn has just excelled at that uh, for us here at Dakota State. It has been just an absolute
absolute honor to be able to work with him and have us have him as a member of our team here. He is obviously very successful at the national championship level and has just absolutely excelled at the conference championship level because of his, because of his versatility. He has scored in so many different events for us. Uh, he uh, is just a, a very well-rounded athlete. He can score well in the hurdles. He can throw the shot put phenomenal. Outdoors, he can throw discus and javelin extremely well. Uh, he can jump well and it's just uh, um, really awesome to have him as a member of our team and be a great leader of uh, his uh, teammates as well. We have a lot of great young athletes that have been drawn to the multi because of Treshawn and that is a quality that you just love to have uh, in your track and field athletes and has been really awesome uh, to see. Uh, congratulations Treshawn uh, and next up I'd like to introduce Coach Alice Glover, one of Treshawn's uh, coaches for some additional comments. What's up Trojan Nation? Coach Glover again here to talk about my guy Treshawn Roberts. Treshawn is the dictionary definition of an all-around athlete. He came to us with very little track background and has grinded and grinded and grinded and literally poured his blood, sweat, and tears into becoming one of the best men's track athletes in Dakota State history. Being a decathlete is extremely difficult. From a coach's perspective, you have to be very calculated with how you approach it and try to make sure you're practicing each event to help him improve in every aspect while also trying to keep an athlete as healthy as possible throughout the long haul of the season. Uh, people don't have a good understanding of how much work it is for an athlete that doing 10 events on a weekly basis is it, really grueling on the body and again it's really tolling mentally as well. Treshawn's one of the hardest working people you'll ever come across, which is why the combined events fit him really well. There really isn't a weak part to his game at this point. Two years ago, he struggled in the hurdles and he struggled in the pole vault. A couple years ago at Indoor Nationals, he was doing really well after day one and then hurdles was his first event and he ended up not finishing the event and really hurting him at Nationals. Now, he's a national qualifying hurdler and an indoor, indoor Nationals this last season was the last pole vaulter standing in the heptathlon. He has worked so hard to get to the point where he can compete at a high level at all events, not just be there to maintain and just try to be average, to go and dominate. Treshawn's indoor season was amazing to watch. He dominated competition all year and went into the national championships with the best heptathlon score in the country. While he ended up as the runner up, his effort was incredible. He's a guy that's hard on himself, but as a coach, we are always so proud of him and the effort and his confidence. I wish I had an ounce of the confidence that that guy has, man. It's amazing to be around. This outdoor season started off great as well with him resetting the school record in the decathlon once again and having the second best decathlon score in the country all season long. Unfortunately, Treshawn got injured in the middle of the season, but was determined to still go on to nationals and compete. I don't know if I've seen an athlete more injured than he was compete at such a high level. The guy's an absolute warrior, an absolute machine, and even through the pain is a guy that can keep us coaches in check because we're always worried and always stressed, but he's got the attitude about it that he's got this and he's going to make sure that everything's gonna be fine. It's awesome to be able to give this award to Treshawn for the second year in a row. No more, Nobody more deserving than him. He just keeps setting the bar higher and higher, and I know a guy like Connor wouldn't have it any other way that they're receiving this great award together. So with that being said, it's once again my honor to present Treshawn Roberts with the 2023 D Dakota State Co-Men's Outstanding Athlete of the Year. It really is an honor to be receiving this award again. Uh, if you know me, then you know I'm constantly trying to improve and that's why the Multis has been perfect for me. It gives me lots of opportunities to do just that. And that's one of the beautiful things about it. You know, everyone has their strong events, their weak events, and we're able to push through it together and we get pretty close through the two days of competition. Uh, I'd like to thank a few people. Uh, Glover and Haugie, first of all, uh, helping me, supporting me through training and on and off the track in life. I honestly think of them as friends so much that sometimes I forget that they're actually my coaches and that could get me in a little trouble sometimes. <laughs> uh, Dreelin, giving me the opportunities to be successful going above and beyond to make sure I'm able to compete. Uh, I got Abby, Haley, and Ali doing everything in your power to attempt to keep my body from falling apart. Uh, I'm getting a little bit of rest now, I promise. Uh, my parents and grandpa, you all support me through everything. I'm glad you're able to come and watch me during my indoor national performance. And my dad came to outdoors as well, that was great. 
I'm glad I was able to make you guys proud. Um, you know, I'd like to give a little shout out to Caleb Roberts and Caden Gortmaker, the other multis here at DSU. Uh, multis isn't easy, but competing with you guys has made me a lot better, and you guys have improved on so many levels throughout the year. Uh, thank you for supporting me, and thank you for allowing me to help coach you during my injury over conference. Uh, above all, I guess, you know, I'm really thankful to be recognized alongside another amazing athlete, training partner, and friend for this award. Uh, thank you very much. Now it's time to announce our DSU Female Outstanding Athlete of the Year. This award goes to Elsie Asleeson of the Women's Basketball Program. Elsie fueled the Trojans women's basketball team to a school record breaking season, which included 29 victories and a trip to their first ever NEIA Women's Basketball National Semifinals, which is called the Fab Four. She has been with the Trojan women's basketball team for the past three seasons, helping the squads to their third consecutive North Star Athletic Association regular season title with an astounding 40 and two conference record combined during those years. Elsie, a six foot one senior forward and center, was a three-time North Star Athletic Association selection, most recently as a first team member. She was voted as the league's Defensive Player of the Year and All-Defensive Team. She was selected to the NEIA's Women's Basketball All-American Third Team, the fourth straight season that DSU has had a player listed on the NEIA Women's Basketball All-American squads. Elsie led the team with 13.5 points, a total of 434 points for the season and 2.8 blocks, 88 total blocks for the year. She also averaged 7.1 rebounds per game, total 227 total rebounds for the season, and had an amazing finish to her career, holding records for the third most single season blocks and third all-time blocks with 211. She finished second in the NAIA in total blocks. Elsie was named to the 2023 NAIA Women's Basketball All-Tournament second team after averaging 14 points and 6.2 rebounds per game in five national tournament games. She also hit 53.5% from the field and registered 15 blocks during the national tournament. Elsie is 15th all-time in DSU women's basketball scoring with 1,118 points, surpassing the DSU 1,000-point one um, 1, milestone during the regular season finale at the DSU Fieldhouse versus Bellevue. She is 7th all-time in field goal percentage with 51.6% scoring, shooting, and 5th in free throw percentage at 76.9%. Her 240 free throws made her 10th all-time in free throws made. Elsie received the NEIA and NSAA Scholar Athlete Awards for her academic achievements in the classroom. She received her second Student Research Initiative grant to continue her biology research after finding neonicotinoid present in bird eggshells last year. She is continuing her education in the master's program at Iowa. Congratulations to Elsie on an outstanding academic and athletic career as a DSU Trojan. Hi, I'm Coach David Moe, the head women's basketball coach at Dakota State University, here to introduce the 22-23 Dakota State University Most Outstanding Female Athlete Award to one Elsie Osleason. Uh, it has been an absolute joy coaching Elsie over the last three years, and this year in particular. Uh, we had a pretty historic year, um, the best in school history. You know, we, we made it all the way to the Fab Four of the National Tournament. And it was, it was such a fun, fun journey this year. But what, what made it fun was to have people in the program like, like Elsie. And uh, she's very deserving of, the, of this award, and as were other, other female athletes on campus. But Elsie was, was truly special this year. You know, she, she was first team all-conference. She was defensive player of the year. She was all-defensive team. Um, and in the national tournament, she was all tournament team, second team, and she was an All-American this year, making the third team All-American team for basketball. Uh, you know, the numbers wise, she averaged 13.5 points per game, 7.1 rebounds, 2.8 blocks per game, shot 56% from the floor, 33% beyond the arc, and 82% from the free throw line, but that, those are just 
you know, small glimpses of, of the impact that she had on, on our team. Uh, Elsie always brought uh, a level of fun and joy and uh, a little silliness <laughs> to the team. Um, if you ever get a chance to talk to some of the players, you, you, you should ask the team who's got the best stomp on the team, and I guarantee they'll all say Elsie. Um, Elsie just made the game fun. She, she made the game fun for everyone around her. Uh, like I said, it was an absolute joy to coach Elsie. I had a chance to coach her for three years. And when she came here, her freshman year was at Concordia University in, in Nebraska. They won the national championship. And we had talked. We wanted to send her out the same way she came in with the national championship. We ended up losing in, 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 in the semifinals. But Elsie's three-year career, she went to the, the Elite Eight, the round of 32, and then the, the Fab Four at, at, at Dakota State. She was a thousand-point scorer. Uh, and just, she did so much for the program on and off the floor. And it was an absolute, absolute joy to coach her. Um, I think the teammates would say she, she was an absolute joy to have as a teammate. And her impact that, that she made on this program will, will, will last for a long time. But this, this single year award that she won as the DSU Most Outstanding Female Athlete is so well deserved. Um, I am incredibly proud. I'm inc incredibly thankful that I had a chance to coach someone like Elsie and she's going to do some pretty amazing things here in the future. But uh, it's, a, it's, it, it's a great day for, for, for DSU Athletics. It's a great day for DSU Women's Basketball. And uh, we wish Elsie all the best. I just want to start off by saying thank you and how honored I am to be receiving this award. There are so many awesome athletes at DSU, and so it really means a lot to me to be receiving this today. Um, first, I want to thank my teammates. I came here three years ago, and I found a family and some of my best friends that will last a lifetime. Um, I got to play college basketball for five years. I was blessed enough to be able to do that, and if I could, I would totally come back for another year just because of all of the awesome times that we've had together. Um, my favorite memory from this year was the national tournament and how we really came together as a team. Um, you need all the pieces in a team to win as many games as we did. And um, it's just exciting for me that we got to be so successful during my three years here. And, you know, the individual awards come after that. But what comes first is winning. Um, I'll always remember hanging out in the pool with all my teammates after we beat Indiana Wesleyan this year. Like, that will definitely be a memory that is in my head forever. Um, I also want to say thank you to my coaches um, for just believing in us and giving us room to play and make mistakes. Um, and, you, and knowing that even when we did make mistakes, we still had value and we were still important and we can move on to the next play. I also want to say thank you to the community in Madison. Um, we always knew that our community had our support and um, we definitely had the best fans in the country. It's always awesome when you can go to the grocery store or Dollar General and you always have someone coming up to you and asking you about the season or wishing you luck for your next game. I also want to say thank you to my family and friends who have shown me so much love and support during my time here at DSU. Um, I know that they would give the world for me and so it's just really exciting that I have such a good support network. At this time, we would like to present our final Dakota State University Athletic Annual Award, the Dusty Anderson Memorial Award. This award is presented each year to an outstanding male basketball or baseball player who exhibits active participation in campus activities. This award is named for Dusty Anderson, who was a letter winner in both basketball and baseball at Dakota State from 1966 through 1969. In addition to his athletic involvement, Dusty was active as president of the Varsity Club and was a member of the Student Senate, the band, and the Physical Education Majors Club. Dusty died in an automobile accident on homecoming in 1969. This year, the recipient of the Dusty Anderson Memorial Award is Mason Macaluso of the baseball team. This is the second straight year that he has received the award. Mason, a senior outfielder for the Trojans, was selected to the North Star Athletic Association Baseball All-Conference First Team, and it was the third straight year that he has been named to the All-Conference teams. Twice he has been a first team selection. He finished the 2023 season with a .328 batting average 
He was 61 of 186 at the plate. And he also produced a slugging percentage of .597 with 11 home runs, 15 doubles, one triple, and 34 singles. Mason broke the all-time career home run record and RBI record on the same play in Lincoln, Nebraska versus presentation last April. He shattered the career records of 30 home runs and 158 runs batted in. Mason earned a place on the college sports communications academic all-district baseball team for the second straight year. He also received the NAIA and NSAA Scholar Athlete Honors for his academic excellence. He is one of the integral members of the DSU baseball team that set the team record 24 North Star Conference victories, including the second longest winning streak of 21 games and produced the most victories since the 2007 season, which had 36 wins. Congratulations to Mason and his outstanding baseball career. Hey, Trojan Nation, Darian Hardy, head baseball coach here. Mason Macaluso embodies all that the Dusty Anderson Memorial Award represents. Mason graduated this past season after a great career at DSU. He originally hails from Gilbert, Arizona and was a four-year starting outfielder. To say that Mason was a big part of the program's recent success is an understatement. He was instrumental in the program going from nine wins in the three years prior to becoming a Trojan to 95 wins. This past season, he helped lead the team to a 36-18 record, a nation-leading 21-game winning streak, regional and national recognition, the most conference wins since the North Star formed, and our team earning National Scholar Team honors. This season, Mason led the team with 11 home runs and 57 RBIs while batting 328. Mason graduates as one of the best Trojan baseball players of all time. He is listed in numerous school records. For example, single season records of 63 runs batted in, 13 home runs, and career records of 320 total bases, 30 home runs, 155 runs batted in. In addition, his name is littered in our record book, being top two or three in most of our offensive categories. He put up these kinds of numbers hitting in the four hole most of his career. That's pretty special because four hole hitters just get pitched differently. Mason was consistently getting a pitcher's best arsenal pitched to him every game. For his efforts during his career, Mason is a three time all conference player, which includes first team all conference this season. I knew Mason was gonna be a special player when I recruited him. Not only is he a special player, but he's a great young man off the field, possessing great character traits and is a great student athlete, as he was also garnered academic All-American and academic All-Conference honors. Mason developed into one of our team leaders serving on our team's leadership council. Mason cares about DSU and Trojan baseball. Because of his playing ability, academic ability, and character quality, Mason embodies all the qualities and is a great recipient of the Dusty Anderson Memorial Award. Go Trojans and finish empty. Hi, Mason Macaluso here. I um, just want to say thank you for uh, starting me with the Dusty Anderson Award. Um, I feel very blessed and honored to receive it back-to-back -back years and receive it my last season at DSU. Um, Obviously, uh, I couldn't do this without my professors working with me every bit of the way. Um, with missing class all the time, that part's crucial in maintaining good grades and um, working on some of those assignments with my teammates and really just bouncing ideas back off each other. And obviously, the athletic side of the world, I, I couldn't have done it without my coaches. Um, I struggled a little bit early on, and uh, they believed in me and kept me in, and I ended up turning it around. So I'm um, very thankful for them and for everything they did to uh, get me there and something I can take away uh, from this season. My last season at DSU was our uh, 20 game, 21 game winning streak. Uh, just one off of the uh, school record, but um, was, what's more amazing about it is you know how we started going up until that winning streak. We weren't playing our best baseball. We weren't playing the way that uh, we know how to play and our, our brand. And, um, up, and when we started that streak, we 
played 21 games with our brand of baseball and it was really fun to, really fun to be a part of and um, it just kind of gives a testament to um, you know never giving up and leaving in your leaving in the work and the process that you go through throughout the sport so I just want to say thank you to everybody that's been a part of my time at DSU and thank you for um, giving me the Dusty Anderson Award again. So, thank you. At this time, I'd like to finish by commenting on the growth of DSU Athletic Complex. At this time, we are nearing completion of the Trojan Track and Field and Soccer Complex, which will be used by both the Madison High School and Dakota State University football teams this fall. In fact, we will open this stadium on August 31st with our annual Egg Bowl Classic at 7 o'clock on Thursday night against the University of Wisconsin Lacrosse. On Friday night, the Madison High School Bulldogs will open their season at the Trojan Stadium. We are looking forward to another great season in 2023 and 24. And thank you for watching this program and thank you for supporting the Trojans.